Listen and decide whether the following statements are true or false. This is my favorite room in the house. We've got lots of plants in there, so it feels like a jungle. There's a long mirror on one wall and a large window above the bath, so lots of light comes in during the day. I love having a bath in there. It's so relaxing. This is my room. There's a desk with my computer on it where I do my homework and shelves for all my books and DVDs. And these are my drums. I've got a friend called James who plays the guitar and he often comes here to practice with me. There's a sofa in the corner and when he needs to stay the night, he sleeps on it. Now listen again. Listen and decide whether the following statements are true or false. This is my favorite room in the house. We've got lots of plants in there, so it feels like a jungle. There's a long mirror on one wall and a large window above the bath. So lots of light comes in during the day. I love having a bath in there. It's so relaxing. This is my room. There's a desk with my computer on it where I do my homework and shelves for all my books and DVDs. And these are my drums. I've got a friend called James who plays the guitar and he often comes here to practice with me. There's a sofa in the corner, and when he needs to stay the night, he sleeps on it. Listen and choose the right descriptions for each person. This is a nice photo. Is this your sister? She's really pretty. Yeah, that's Amy. She's got long blonde hair in that photo. But it's short now. Who's the little boy with fair hair? He's Tom. He's nearly nine. When's his birthday? Next month. I have to buy him a present. Yeah, who's the other boy? That's my cousin Ben. And next to him is my uncle Colin. The tall, thin man with long hair. He's really funny. Which one's your dad? He's next to me. He's got brown eyes and very short hair. And he's a little fat, but mum says he's good looking. Where is your mom? She's taking the photo. She's got long brown hair and glasses. Now listen again. Listen and choose the right descriptions for each person. This is a nice photo. Is this your sister? She's really pretty. Yeah, that's Amy. She's got long blonde hair in that photo, but it's short now. Who's the little boy with fair hair? He's Tom. He's nearly nine. When's his birthday? Next month. I have to buy him a present. Yeah, who's the other boy? That's my cousin Ben. And next to him is my uncle Colin, the tall, thin man with long hair. He's really funny. Which one's your dad? He's next to me. He's got brown eyes and very short hair. And he's a little fat, but mum says he's good looking. Where is your mum? She's taking the photo. She's got long brown hair and glasses. Hello. This is Theonang 7. Listening test. Task 1. Listen to the conversation. Circle A, B, or C to complete the sentences. You will listen twice. Now listen and circle A, B, or C. Can I help you, sir? My name's Paul and I need to see a doctor. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. 
I called the clinic yesterday, but there was no answer. Really? What's the reason for your visit? I feel really bad. I have flu. My body hurts and I cough a lot. Do you have a temperature? Yes, I do. And I have a headache, too. Have you been to the clinic before? No. This is my first time here. Okay. I need you to fill out some forms. When you're done, take a seat in the waiting room. The nurse will call your name when she's ready for you. Okay. Thank you. Now listen again. Can I help you, sir? My name's Paul and I need to see a doctor. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. I called the clinic yesterday, but there was no answer. Really? What's the reason for your visit? I feel really bad. I have flu. My body hurts and I cough a lot. Do you have a temperature? Yes, I do. And I have a headache, too. Have you been to the clinic before? No. This is my first time here. Okay. I need you to fill out some forms. When you're done, take a seat in the waiting room. The nurse will call your name when she's ready for you. Okay. Thank you. Task 2 Listen to a girl talking about her hobby. Decide whether the sentences are true, T, or false, F. Circle T or F. You will listen twice. Now listen and circle T, or F. Hello, I'm Julia. My favorite pastime is taking photographs. On my 11th birthday, my dad gave me a camera and showed me how to take a picture of my birthday cake. It was amazing. Since then I have been very keen on doing it. I have to go to school every weekday, so I only have time for my hobby at the weekend. I always get up early on Saturday morning and then I go to the beach to take pictures of beautiful sunrises. After that, I go to the park to take photos of the flowers there. They look fresh in the morning. I only show my photos to my parents, not anyone else. Now listen again. Hello, I'm Julia. My favorite pastime is taking photographs. On my 11th birthday, my dad gave me a camera and showed me how to take a picture of my birthday cake. It was amazing. Since then I have been very keen on doing it. I have to go to school every weekday, so I only have time for my hobby at the weekend. I always get up early on Saturday morning and then I go to the beach to take pictures of beautiful sunrises. After that, I go to the park to take photos of the flowers there. They look fresh in the morning. I only show my photos to my parents, not anyone else. Part 1 Good morning, Dr. Kim's Clinic. How can I help you? Good morning. I'm Katie Ching. I went to your clinic last week to check my back problem. Could you put me through to the doctor, please? I'm afraid Mr. Kim is out at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Oh, no. Can you tell me when he will be back? I'm not sure. He's having an important meeting in Ho Chi Minh City, and he's going to return to Hanoi on Thursday. Could I make an appointment to see him? You're more than welcome to. I think he will be available on Friday. Friday is okay. Can I see him in the afternoon? Sure, what time is convenient for you? Is 4 p.m. okay? I think that's too late. He's only at the clinic from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday. How about 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. Let me see. 
That's all right. Can I have your name again, please? My name is Katie Ching. Can you spell your name, please? It's K A T Y T R I N H. And your phone number, please? It is zero nine nine five one one nine one nine one. My address is number three Batu Street, Huan Kiem District. Thank you, Miss Ching. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, listen again. Good morning, Dr. Kim's clinic. How can I help you? Good morning. I'm Katie Ching. I went to your clinic last week to check my back problem. Could you put me through to the doctor, please? I'm afraid Mr. Kim is out at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Oh no. Can you tell me when he will be back? I'm not sure. He's having an important meeting in Ho Chi Minh City, and he's going to return to Hanoi on Thursday. Could I make an appointment to see him? You're more than welcome to. I think he will be available on Friday. Friday is okay. Can I see him in the afternoon? Sure. What time is convenient for you? Is 4 p.m. okay? I think that's too late. He's only at the clinic from 2:30 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday. How about 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. Let me see. That's all right. Can I have your name again, please? My name is Katie Ching. Can you spell your name, please? It's K A T Y T R I N H. And your phone number, please? It is. Zero nine nine five one one nine one nine one. My address is number three Batu Street, Huan Kiem District. Thank you, Miss Ching. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Part two. Hello, Hua. It's Lena. How are you? What a surprise! We haven't spoken in ages. I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. I'm phoning to see if I can visit you tomorrow. Sure. What time will you arrive? About 9 a.m. Is that convenient for you? Okay, that sounds good. See you then. See you. Hello, Hua. Lena, come on in. Let me introduce you to my family. I'd like you to meet my dad, Long. He is 45 years old, and he is an English teacher. Dad, this is Lena. Nice to meet you, Lena. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Long. And this is my mom. Her name's Lan Ang, and she's an accountant. How do you do? How do you do? I have an older brother, but he isn't home now. He studies at Foreign Trade University. Anyway, you can take a look at our family photo. My brother is the tall and thin boy standing beside me. He looks nice, doesn't he? Yeah. Make yourself at home. Now, listen again. Hello, Hua. It's Lena. How are you? What a surprise! We haven't spoken in ages. I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. I'm phoning to see if I can visit you tomorrow. Sure. What time will you arrive? About 9 a.m. Is that convenient for you? Okay, that sounds good. See you then. See you. Hello, Hua. Lena, come on in. Let me introduce you to my family. I'd like you to meet my dad, Long. He is 45 years old, 
and he is an English teacher. Dad, this is Lena. Nice to meet you, Lena. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Long. And this is my mom. Her name's Lan Ang, and she's an accountant. How do you do? How do you do? I have an older brother, but he isn't home now. He studies at Foreign Trade University. Anyway, you can take a look at our family photo. My brother is the tall and thin boy standing beside me. He looks nice, doesn't he? Yeah. Make yourself at home. Wang lives in Beijing with her husband and her daughter. Like other city dwellers there, her family has to face serious air pollution every day. The first thing Wang does when she wakes up in the morning is to check her kit to make sure she is breathing clean air. It seems to be very strange to many people, but it's quite popular there. A thick layer of smog rolls into China's capital city, turning skyscrapers into shadows and clear air into a yellow fog. This smog causes her many troubles. It's difficult for her to breathe without a protective face mask or an air purifier. She can hardly see things clearly, even in the daytime. More seriously, her child may catch a chronic cough because of the unclean air. Air pollution is even worse in industrial zones outside the capital. But why does smog keep blanketing Beijing? The main sources of pollutants include exhaust emissions from more than five million motor vehicles in Beijing, coal burning in neighboring regions, dust storms from the north, and local construction dust. 